Support for Radio Friends comes from Homestead Senior Care, providing trustworthy, kind-hearted senior home care services in your loved one's home. All caregivers are thoroughly screened, extensively trained, professional, and reliable. Homestead is all about providing the highest quality home care service to fit you and your family's needs. Plus, if you would be interested in becoming a caregiver, they offer great part-time positions. Give them a call at 573-442-4333 or check it out at homeinstead.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, September the 21st. Josh Reed is with us from the University Concert Series to start things off. Good to have you here, Josh. Yeah, that's great to be here. Thank you. You got a, you got a big season coming up. Uh, University it's a big Concert. one. The 110th season. 100, this is the 110th season? 110 seasons, yeah. And you've been with it for 110 uh, years. Only 80. Only 80. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No. So what have you got to look forward to this season? Uh, you know, we've got a tremendous amount of of diversity and a lot of different cultures represented in this year's season, uh, which is something we're really proud of. Uh, we've got the Tango Bueno series coming in on October 2nd, mm -hmm. which uh, is this will be the second time they've been here and uh, it was a huge hit the first time. Uh, so I would have them back. Uh, and the Beach Boys are actually coming to town. The Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. Wait a minute, the original Beach Boys? Most of the original Beach Boys, not the entire group. But yeah, yeah, three of the originals and then their their touring group are coming in. And they're going to do all those old oh, tunes from yeah. the 60s. We'll be California Dreaming, absolutely, yeah. yeah. On uh, October 23rd is on that show, yeah. So okay. we're excited about that. And then our, uh, our usual local partners, uh, Missouri Contemporary Ballet, uh, the Choral Union, the School of Music, they're all going to be part of it. Uh, there's a great Irish Christmas show coming in in December that we're excited about. It's all around. It's huge. The list is incredibly long. How many? How many different performances do you have? Twenty-six shows this year. So there's twenty-six performances mm -hmm. with the University Concert Series. If people want to see one, or they want to see all of them, they can buy. Uh, uh, a, a season ticket, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. Come on into the Missouri Theater box office. We've got some great deals this year. Uh, the more tickets you buy, the bigger discount you get. Okay. So, so, so if you buy a season ticket, mm -hmm. you're just about giving it away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just throwing <laughs> them out the door. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I like that. <laughs> so the more you buy, the cheaper the tickets That's are. That's exactly right. And yeah. the more entertainment you get. That's so, right. Go to the Missouri box office, or can you use your phone number they can call? Sure, they can call the Missouri Theater box office. They can use our website. Uh, it's concertseries.org or mm -hmm. swing by. We're open 9 to 5 right there in front of the Missouri Theater. That's a great place to come to anyway, just to peek inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we'll be waiting for you. Okay. And if there's a little sign there, uh, sometimes the, the person leaves the box sure, office sure, for a couple sure. of minutes. It says, I'll be back in five minutes. That yeah. happened when I went to get to <laughs> Be back in five minutes. I sat there and it was five minutes. Yeah, they got, came, oh, we're they very came. strict. I got a timer. <laughs> I'm always keeping an eye on it. All right, Josh Reed, thank you so thank much you. for coming by. University Concert Series, best of luck thank with you. it thank again you. this year. For how many seasons now? 110. 110 seasons. That's pretty amazing. Now we talk about something else that's uh, pretty amazing up in Fayette, Missouri, the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art in Fayette. You got that right. Okay. <laughs> and I got Joe Geis sitting further away from me and Gary uh, Cadwallader. Yes, sir. Gary Cadwallader. Good to have you here, Gary. And Joe Geis. Now, Tell us about the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art. We're now working with the fall show called Passion versus Reality. And there are three shows in, involved in this. I uh, like that, Passion versus Reality. reality yes. How'd uh, you come up with this one? Gary is the one that came up with it. I must, I must give Gary much credit yeah. because we're open to possible titles and we have we lots of titles. We want to be crazy, but we're just real. I don't okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> You want to be crazy, but you're just real. All right. Like so how many? Uh, so we have how three many? shows. Uh, three shows in, in this big fall presentation. Gary will talk about his in a few minutes, I'm sure. Uh, paintings by Gary, and then we have ceramics by a new person in the area, direct from California, Jeff Graham by okay. by name, and then in our gallery two, we have 
13 masterpieces from the permanent collection. So wow. from our permanent collection. So we want to show something always from, from our own collection. Okay, and you brought along some pictures. Now, yeah, for I, people I, listening to us on the radio, well, we're going to show these pictures from television, but for listening to us on the radio, I want you to paint a, a, a picture with words with the first one. Oh, they, this uh, is gorgeous. Okay, wow. that's, uh, that's uh, supposed to be white lilies, but they got a little colorful on me. Okay. And um, that, that actually won uh, Best in Show at the Missouri Watercolor Society Members Show last okay, year. Okay, so this is watercolor work, and it's, yes. called, it's called white lilies, but the white lilies have yellow day lilies, they have pink and blue. I've never <laughs> seen blue lilies on there. Yeah, and, well, and that looks like a carnation. That's maybe part in the of the that's part of the unreality of okay. Our <laughs> All right, so that's another one. Now go to the next picture, and this is um, that's an acrylic. It's it's rather large. Um, uh, it's it's I I called it uh, before the Earth was flat because okay. I'm I'm working with flat things in three dimensional. Things. Now are those uh, what it, what I'm looking at the way mm -hmm. I interpret it I'm seeing a lot of leaves different yes. colored leaves. Yes. I see philodendron leaves in there. Um, I see spider plant leaves. Mm -hmm. It I'm started maybe... out as a thing from the Powell Gardens but then morphed into something else. Okay. Well, you see you see the person in there there's, there's a person in no, the, I didn't see a person. There's oh, a person right. in there. Oh, okay. There's a person in there. <laughs> okay. Well, look, at the top, there's a, a lady that resembles a Picasso painting. Okay. All right, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> the next one we have, now there's water lilies. It looks like it's, yeah. a, it's a placid stream or a little lake or pond. Yes, sir. That was uh, a pond up at the Missouri State Fair at the uh, MoDOT yeah. facility. Yeah. And the, 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 the colors are kind of uh, surreal, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Right. That's kind of the way that I work. A lot, yeah. of, very colorful, but not always terribly realistic. Okay. All right. And do we have another one to show? I think those three are those the are ones. Mine. we Okay. We those have. those are That's Gary all. Cadwalladers. Yes, sir. And, and now I think there are some other pictures that we want to share. We have three uh, from the uh, ga gallery three show, uh, and these are all ceramics by our friend uh, Jeff Graham. Now this, <laughs> when you're listening on the radio, is a a ceramic bowl. It looks like goldfish on the outside, on the outside yes. and <laughs> kind of gold uh, dots around the rim. And then on the inside, are those dolphins? Yes. Uh, as I say, uh, he, uh, he has his own imagination inside there. But it's a double, double show, so to speak, in terms of the outside and the inside. Mm -hmm. um, Beautifully done. All right. And huge, then, a, that's a huge bowl, by the oh, way. Oh, that is. That's yeah. really a very, very pretty bowl. Very big. Is this a, a serving plate? Uh, it is. And uh, as I said, the, the artist just came from California, and he has several pieces in the show that suggest Missouri wildflowers. Yes, that's exactly uh, and, what and, it looks like. And these are wildflowers he saw between Fayette and Columbia. Mm -hmm. And so he there's has... There's chicory. Kept, there's the blue uh, chicory on there. Yes, there is the... Right. Uh, the, the Oh, oh, there's one more. Now that's, 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 that's Jeff having fun with, he has a series of masks, uh, Romanesque and Greek masks in the show. These are all ceramic again, okay. and, and we're having fun there. This is the artist next to one of his masks. All right, and if you want to see these in person, you can go up to the Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art in Fayette. Right. Joe. Thank you so much. For, uh, out of time. Phone number? August 27th to November the 16th. Okay. Through okay. November yeah. the 16th. It's yeah. running right now. Right. Yeah, through exactly. November 16th. Right. Yeah. Got it. Thank yeah. you so Very much good. for coming by. Sure. Tomorrow's South Farm Showcase. Bye-bye.